Hello, my friends, and welcome. It is wonderful to have you here. I am Morjax. Thank you for taking time to join me today. We are playing some Talisman, the Horse Heresy. This is a Games Workshop board game that has been ported to PC by Nomad Games, who provided me with a copy of this game. And it's been interesting so far. It is in the universe of... Ooh, 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 wait. Ooh, 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 hold on. How much resources do we have? One. We can purchase Mark II armor. Uh, or get one data slate. Let's do the data slate. Um, because we don't have a lot of resources. So this takes place in the Warhammer 40k... Ooh, 40k universe. During the events of the Horus Heresy, which I'm not totally familiar with, or... Uh, very familiar with it all. Let's read this here. Look through the remaining stratagems. Take one of your choice. The spy departs, and all previously lose stratagems are back in play. Let's take a look. Encounter him. Oh, look at this. Plus one ranged. Equipment of your choice. Roll a die and gain that. Ooh, gain that many resources. Close combat. Data slates in this region are destroyed and discarded. Uh, stratagem freeze. Switch sectors with any other warlord. Warlords of your legions gain one fate. Up to six of your movement roll. Convert any equipment into resources. Instead of a normal move. This is kind of an information overload. Overload. You may choose to cross the warp directly opposite where you are in. That might be good to get further in. Okay. Warlord may administer gene seed replacement to his legion and gains two resolve. Hmm. Evade opponent. Range combat by three until end of turn. Strike and fade. Increase by three till end of turn. Look at five data slates revealed. Choose one to destroy it. Two successful turns before play passes to next warlord. Um. I like the one that gives us. Uh. Where is it? I like the one that gives us extra resources but I think I like more this one here let's see if I can figure out how to use it that I think what that lets us do is to go one ring deeper we need to go deeper blah 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 oh he is still a chaos spawn I like that a lot you have zero resources sir ha 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 Okay, so our buddy Corvus Corax has a talisman. And he needs to get to the inner... Um, I think it's that ship right in the center. Resume game, thank you. I think so. And one of the bad guys, it's the... Currently, he's a chaos spawn. Um, he, I believe, also has a talisman. I can't remember if Mortarian does. Two! Fight me, bro! Oh, you get back here, you rascal. Gonna range you out of the sky. Cathedral of the Mark, Masters of Fortune. Zinch listens to his dreams and that's all I got. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. Use stratagem. Confirm stratagem. Yes. Using stratagem. So we can travel here. And do we get to roll or is that all we do? I think that's all we do. But now we're on the... Oh, whoa, wh what? You have lost all of your resolve. Your warlord is immediately killed. All equipment, units, resources are left in this sector. Any stratagems you held are discarded. You may start again on your next turn. All right. I don't know why we died. Attacked by monstrosities of the warp. That's why. Okay. Well, we're a big skull now. That's what happens. I did not pay attention to where I was warping to. Good job, me. Ooh, sir, servitor? Plus two resources? 
He's back again. These guys don't have a lot of range. We've got, uh, well, I've got better ranged until I died. But, you know. Corvus, what are you trying to do, buddy? You want to get in further. I don't know what he's gaining by staying there and doing that over and over. Roll the dice. Roll them. So I did slow the game speed from 4 out of 10 down to 3 out of 10. If you put it to 1, you have to confirm after every single action. That was a little bit too slow for me. I feel like this is a little better speed. Engage. Close combat 5 to 5. Let's hope for a good roll for the Terminator company. Roll to 6. Roll to 6. Nope. All right. Well, Mortarian 1. Dang it. Um, I wish that there was a way to speed up, like, the movement and stuff. Ooh, what is this? Kairos Fate Weaver. One, become a Chaos Spawn. He changed it to four, gain one range combat. He did not want to become a Chaos Spawn for three turns. Legion's Wrath, your warlord exhorts the wrath of the Legion. Space Marine Legions are vast engines of war whose superhuman warriors number in the tens of thousands of fighters. The full panoply of war of a legion is a terrible thing to behold. Plus one to your close combat. Take stratagem. I love how tens of thousands of units give us, like, one extra. They give us one close combat. Use stratagem. Let's just use this one. I don't. It doesn't say it wears off. We're just gonna have extra... Where the heck are we? We're up here? Seems randomly generated. One. Number one. Navigate the Maelstrom. Or close combat four. Let's navigate the Maelstrom. See what happens. <clears throat> Really cool. There's like a skull in the background. That's cool. All right. Lost. Firefight. Navigation successful or safe passage. Roll those dice. Four. Successful. Excellent. Plus one range combat, I think it said. So, I don't yet understand the mechanics that guide whether you move in or out from a ring. I don't get how that works. But maybe I can look up like a guide or something after I do this video to see what I can see. Or if any of you guys are talisman uh, veterans, maybe you can let me know. Warp storms. Engage. Oh, good. They're range combat three. Oh, you rolled a five. So they need, uh, what, a three or better? Yeah, good job. Good job, Ziphon Interceptor. Good, good. I love it. Oh, I love ranged, ranging these guys because they're so bad at range, comparatively speaking. Corvax Corax misses a turn. Cor Corvus Corax, rather. Legion Combat Unit. Ultra Marine, Marines Terminator Company. Resume game. Whoops. I forget that I click and then it makes it go away. Cygnus Prime. Cathedral of the Mark. They keep going back there. It's almost like they're bad guys. Master of Fortune. Okay, so he gains a resource when Zinch, like, looks, shuffles through his dreams. No, I don't want to lose a turn. Bro! Bro! All right. He's been there a couple of times now. I think this is his third visit. Encounter. Get him. Get him. Or big money, no whammy. Yeah! What? What? No. It didn't work. I thought they rolled really high. Dang. I don't get how that works. Astropath. Look at this creeper. Veil of Time. Ooh. Interesting. 
All right, Corvus, get in there. Get in there, big guy. Go, go in, go in, in. No. I don't understand why you wouldn't just go in. You've got the talisman. You need to get in the middle thing. Ooh, he spent a whole bunch of resources to get a whole bunch of resolve. Interesting. So he's up to seven. He is very resolved in his mission. Dang it. I really want some water, but I'm only like a third of the way into this recording. So thirsty. Maybe I'll pause the recording and grab some water. Because then I can talk better. Oh, yes, yes. Thunderhawk gunship squadron. Get him. He rolled a one. You're going to get wrecked. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Good job, Thunderhawk. That's a cool ship. I would like to drive that to work. All right, my friends. I'm going to be right back in a moment. I'm going to get some water to uh, wet my whistle here. And I'll see you again in just a moment. I have returned more powerful and hydrated than you can imagine. We're rolling a four. Uh, gain one resolve or roll one die versus visit the Ultramarines Primus Medicae. Gain up to two resolve for one resource each. Or visit the training halls, roll one die. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just looking at like the trader world stuff. Loyalist world, loyalist world. Okay. I think we want to go to our friendly world. So do we want to spend one resource and get two resolve? Or do we want to visit the training halls? Information. What do you do? Miss a turn and lose all current XP. We don't have XP. That's fine. Plus one close combat. Plus one range. Plus one resolve. Plus one stratagem. Or plus one ranged and plus one stratagem. Ooh. Okay. What do you do now? Gain a resolve at the... Visit the Ultramarines Primus Medicae. Gain one resolve the cost of one resource each. I thought it was two. Let's visit the training hall, so I think I like that. Roll dice. A four. We now have plus one resolve. And we're going to keep that, I guess, because it doesn't feel worth spending a fate on. And we will continue. Ooh, a six. Shiny. Mm -hmm. He's back up to eight melee. Crazy. Gain one resource. Very good. Yes, yeah, sorry. Resume. And what's that other thing do? I want to see it. Warp Rift. End of turn. Go away, end of turn thing. Resume game. Pause game. What does it do? A Warp Rift is a weakening of the barrier between real space and the warp, allowing us allowing its creatures to enter the material universe. The warp rift will remain here for the rest of the game. Roll one die if the result is higher than your close combat. You fall into the warp rift and must either discard one unit or one resolve. The result is equal to or less than your close combat. You cross the warp rift unscathed. So if you're beefy, you can get through. That's what I'm that's what I'm seeing. Man, you and your one movement rolls. What's going on over there, Corvus? This looks pretty cool. Land guard, Raven guard, land speeder cohort. Hey, he joins him. Okay, cool. Stronghold world. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's pause this now. Let's resume and then pause, pause, pause. I want to see it. Four close combat encounters are here. You may barrack at the stronghold world once per visit and increase your close combat. Okay, so it's just like the uh, it's just like the munitions factory. You can you can increase, but for melee instead, you can increase your melee by run one for each time you land there. 
So that little P, it looks like a paragraph sign, the little P with a line through it. That means it's like a, uh, some kind of a resource or something. Get him! Well, oh man. How come they always roll sixes? And we always roll ones. Well, what the heck? I feel like they've fought those guys a few times before. Oh yeah, Loyalist Garrison. They keep fighting the Loyalist Garrison over and over. Ignored on a one. End of turn. Now it's our turn. Roll those dice. We got four. We can go to here. Spoils of war. Gain one resolve. Or roll one die. Or we can go here, navigate the maelstrom, roll and die. Let's go this way. Melee, four. So it's basically a 50-50 chance. We'll try it. Mm hmm Engage. Roll dice. A four. That might do it. Thousand Suns Legion. Three. There we go. Continue. We win. Sometimes you have to literally toss the dice. Let's see what the what it does. Gain one fate, gain one resolve, gain one resource, gain one stratagem. So the question is, there's a 30% uh, chance it's going to be ignored. And instead of a resolve, there's a 50% chance we might get a fate, a resource, or a stratagem. Um, let's roll the dice. Four. Gain one. Resolve. Okay, so it didn't matter anyway. Oh, wait, we didn't roll yet. Three. Okay. Gain one fate. Sure. What if we spent a fate to do that again? That'd be silly. Okay. Four. I want to catch this guy in range because he's only got one. We've got four because we're strong. Okay, that is a contested... Ooh, wait, wait, what does it do? What does it do? Warp Rift. Another Warp Rift. Okay, we know what that does. We've seen this before. Come on, Corvus, buddy old pal. Get in there. Use that talisman. Where you going? <laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh, are you going to fight him? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Six, gain one stratagem. That's pretty good, those stratagem cards. I think. I mean, I think that it's, like, pretty special to do that. I'm a little surprised he didn't opt to fight that guy, but I guess they're they're evenly matched for ranged, and he's at a disadvantage for melee, so maybe that's not that crazy. Maybe I'm just too combative. I always want to fight. That's why I'm the only one who's died so far. <laughs> world, <coughs> excuse me. Whatever that said, world eaters. Dark Fury Battalion, close combat four. Roll big guys, roll big. Nope. All right. Let me see what this does here again. Strategy, okay. So you get, he's got two experience on strategy and apparently when that fills up, then he can, ooh, let's, let's, should we get more range or should we fight this guy? I kinda wanna fight him. I wanna, I'm gonna shoot him. Yeah, encounter warlord, ranged firefight, blow him away. We got the advantage here. Three, I think it's possible for him to tie if he rolls a six. There's a six. Okay, fine. I was thinking about using a fate to reroll, but we had a 50-50 chance of doing worse, actually. Um, so, whatever. Maybe that was a waste. Maybe we should have gone for more ranged capabilities by going the other direction, but... We are now here. That's what we got.
warp storms. Interesting. He misses a turn. I can't remember why. I feel like this game requires a lot more knowledge and attention, maybe, than I have. But I'm trying. It's, I mean, it's fun so far. It's pretty neat, but I'm just not, like... I don't think I've got the, the sharp mind that is sometimes required for tabletop gaming. I bet some of you guys do, though. I mean, I know that a lot of you are Games Workshop fans. Get him, get him, get him. Dang it. Uh, I know that a lot of you are uh, Games Workshop fans, and probably a lot of you are Talisman fans. Uh, and I know that, you know, I played Mordheim on tabletop. That's the only Games Workshop I on, on a physical game that I've ever played. Um, oh, we missed a turn. Dang it. Um, but I know that for a lot of these tabletop games, they're extremely strategic, and it does take a pretty sharp mind in a lot of cases to... Uh, to be able to navigate such games. So, no doubt, you, my intelligent viewers, do quite well on these types of games. Nurgle's Rot. All of, your all of your resources are completely destroyed. So even in 40k, Nurgle's Rot is still a thing. That is interesting. Interesting indeed. I know in Mordheim on the tabletop, the uh, Carnival of Chaos is one of the warbands, and one of their special skills is Nurgle's Rot, and it basically just kills the other guy's warband. Um, they have to like roll extra injury rolls, and their toughness goes down, and when their toughness runs out, they just straight up die, which is horrifying. We In, in my playgroup, we never um, played Carnival of Chaos because we thought that that rule was way too disgusting for any longer term campaign it's like they would just win it's i mean it seems to me like if they're if the enemy's toughness just gets whittled away by nurgle's rot that's like the best thing ever i guess that's kind of the point the istvan asteroid range called to arms Oh my, they have a lot of guys there. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious me, oh my. Okay. End of turn. My turn, my turn. I hate it when I lose a turn. What does that do? A stranger, become a chaos spawn, lose one resolve, gain one close combat, gain one range, gain one stratagem. We can go this way. Um, we've got a bunch of fade. I guess if we roll crappy, we can just oh, lose one resolve. I'm going this way. I was going to say if we roll crappy, we could just re-roll it, but I don't really like that. Investigate. Loyalist Titan. Legio, Legio Arteris Warhound Maniple. Maniple. And a mass conveyor. Carry eight extra items. If you lose it, they will land on the sector we are in. Okay. All right. I mean, sure. Encounter. Some units can be taken with you on your journey to the Vengeful Spirit. These units will provide bonuses to close combat or ranged combat whilst they are part of your force. To reunite with a unit, you must roll a die and add your current strategy value. If the total is equal to or higher than the target number shown, you will be reunited with the unit. <laughs> we gotta get seven or more. So we gotta roll a five or a six. Dang it. I mean, let's try re-rolling. Hey, we did it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we did do it, but what did that buy us? Plus one close, uh, close combat. Oh, plus one close combat and ranged combat. That's great. That was worth one fate for sure. For sure. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Realm of Chaos.
Mm. Get him, guys. Get him. Three. Get him. Get him. Get him. Dang it. Hmm. Okay. He's got so much rain or melee, I mean. He's a monster. Now he's up to nine melee. That's the thing. He's on like a freaking rampage. The other dude's got eight. Mortarian's got eight melee. That's nuts. But I got ranged. Boy, howdy, do I have ranged. Okay. Let us see what happens. Servo Skull! I like that Servo Skull. Looks pretty cool. That's one thing I will say. All this power armor, all the, like, not, well, I mean, whatever it's called. Um, all the um, Space Marines armor just looks so friggin' badass. Sometimes it's a little over the top. It's like, really? They need that much armor? How much space do they actually take up inside there? Talisman. Oh. Mortarian has a talisman. Do they both have a talisman? Let's click on him. Let's click on him. Oh, you know what? I think Angron dropped his talisman when he got turned into a, a little Nurgle, Nurgling. Or whatever. Oh, jeez. Wait. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. One does not simply spend resources into Mordor. Roll the dice. Roll them. Gain two resources. And a cruiser. Or... Tech Thrall Covenant. And a Legion Support Unit. Close combat one. Range combat six. Reunite five for extra range combat. Ooh, do we want resources or do we want I think we want more stats it seems good and I think we should soundly wallop this servo motor do we have to pick encounter roll dice we should wallop him soundly Tech Thrall Covenant. Ooh, whoa, whoa, buddy. He actually got kind of close. Robot Gil Gilliman. How do you pronounce that? Gil Gilliman? Gileman? I think it's Gilliman. End of turn. I want to reunite with that bro. I don't know why I can't. Okay, fine. There's a lot about this game that I do not understand, my friends. But we're in it together. Yeah, I do that too. Get one extra melee. You're gonna be up to 10 friggin melee. You monster. You monster. He looks like a vampire in power armor. Oh, dang it. The stronghold world. That picture looks really cool. Yeah, dang, he's up to 10 melee. But he's vulnerable to our ranged. He's a cooking us something up. It's been way too long since I watched Family Guy. I love how I'm playing this game and talking about Family Guy, of all the things I could talk about. Friggin' Family Guy. Jeez. Firefight. You gonna reroll it? Okay. You still got a firefight, dude. Dude? Range combat four. He's got range combat three. Warp entities. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. They got to roll a one or a two. Nope. Whomp. At least he's got tons of resolve. Warp entities win. The warp entities always win. Don't forget to also let the Wookiee win. Words of wisdom. Steph. Man, this game is like so much talking for me that my mouth gets really dried out. But that's okay. I'm doing it for you guys. No, don't get ranged. Don't do it, Mortarian. He's got like a like cool gas mask thing going on on this picture. Very nice. Nope. Wait a minute. How does range get so high? It was at like four a second ago. I got really high.
two data slates or reunite four. Let's do that. I want ranged. Reunite four is not so bad. Investigate. Sure. Encounter. Roll dice. Yay. We did it, right? Yeah, we did it. Nice. We're up to six ranged and five melee. Good. Yeah, I think the only thing I don't like about this game is that... Or, I mean, one of the... I'd say my, my main complaint so far... I like the game overall, but my main complaint so far... Oh, excuse me. Oh, get him! Get him! Predator detachment! I'm counting on you! I think they have to win. Um, my main complaint so far is that for, for a new player like myself, it is... You have to choose between, like, getting the flavor and reading the cards or getting through in a reasonable amount of time. Um, if you crank the game speed up, the turns don't take too long. You don't have to wait too long. Uh, but as a result, you don't get to read anything. You don't get to, I mean, and, and that's worse if you don't really know what you're doing, which I wouldn't say I do yet, but that's probably my biggest beef so far with the game. Talisman of the War Master. Man, when did he get so much points? He's at eight melee and six ranged. And eight resolve. At least Angron is at like two resolve, so maybe we can knock him down a peg. Reunite six. Oh, he got it. Dang it. All right, my friends, I think I'm going to end the episode here. It's uh, getting to push the, the limit of being a somewhat long episode. I hope you are enjoying Talisman, the Horus Heresy so far. Um, once again, like the previous episode, I am very curious to find out what happens when you end or when you win or lose a mission because it looked like each of the heroes have their own individual experience pool outside of each individual game. So there's sort of a larger motivation to keep playing um once again this is made by nomad games and uh many thanks to them for providing me with a press copy of the game thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time to get email notifications for all my episodes hit subscribe then the gear button tick the checkbox and hit save